So a quick run through of the LaSalle's thermistor system. So here he is, it is a glass tube with a thermistor placed at the top. You can see that there's some dry white goo at the top there as well. So that is a thermally conducting compound, which makes sure that the thermistor is in good thermal contact with the glass tube. You can see that this also comes out to four mil leads. Um, so this is perfect for use with other school lab equipment. Now the idea is that we read the resistance of this as a function of temperature. So you can either do that with a multimeter, which can read resistance, or you can do it using a voltmeter and ammeter using V equals IR to work out resistance. So I've got a multimeter here, so I'm going to plug it into that. So I need to turn the unit on. I also need to make sure that I'm measuring in resistance in ohms, and I need to choose somewhere sensible on this scale to take the reading. Now in the instructions it says at 25 degrees C the nominal resistance should be 4.7 kilo ohms. So my options on here are either 2k or 20k, I'm going to choose 20k. Uh, and then I need to get my flying leads from the thermistor and I'm going to go in the common terminal and also in the resistance terminal in here. So this is going to give me a reading of 5.46 kilo ohms. Now the reading isn't quite 4.7 and that's because the ambient temperature in here is a little bit cooler than 25 degrees C. So if I shove this in my armpit, can we get the reading to change? So again, we are on 5.45. Ah, I shove this in here. Have a look what it does. Is it going to do anything? So you can see that the resistance is coming down, which means the temperature is going up. So it's doing what it should. And then if we try and go the other way, if I try and cool it down, I can do that by squirting it with some isopropyl alcohol, bear with. If I waft this around a bit, you should see that the resistance is now going up again. So the temperature is coming down just from evaporative cooling, uh, so the resistance is going up. So in terms of an experiment, the idea is to measure the resistance of this as a function of temperature. So you would have this in a beaker of water alongside something like an immersion heater. So the job of this is to heat the beaker of water and then you would also need a thermometer. So that would be where you get your temperature reading from and then you get your resistance reading from the multimeter. You'd then plot a graph of temperature on the x-axis against resistance on the y and look at the relationship between the two of them. Now I've seen this experiment done where people just tape the thermistor component to the outside of the beaker. Now obviously at that point it's quite dangerous because your circuitry is exposed and there's that hazard of mixing water and electricity. Obviously with this system everything's enclosed so it removes that risk. So that's the thermistor system. It's the perfect way of carrying out component characteristics of a thermistor in a safe and reliable way that keeps the students safe and also keeps the components safe for future use. Thanks for watching.